bind and loose. You know what? These spirits and these devices get a hold of people and they start tormenting people and start playing with people. Amen. That's why you see so many people getting on drugs and addictions. They try to find ways to calm their spirit, to calm the things that's happening. Drug addiction, we can bind it. We can bind it. We can loose deliverance upon people's lives. There's people tonight that you're bound to an addiction. We can bind it. Amen. Do you believe what I'm telling you? Do you believe God's give us that kind of power? Thank God. Amen. When we're in the spirit and the Holy Ghost is upon us and the power of God is within us. Brother, we can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We can do these mighty things. If the, from one side of this building to the other was people standing with addictions to drugs, we can lay hands on one by one and say be free in the name of Jesus. And brother, they have to be free. These mind battles. Hey man, the devil's playing with people. Oh, but we still got power and authority over all the powers of the enemy. He said, behold, I give unto you this power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and shall by nothing any means hurt you. There's a lot of people, thank God under the sound of my voice, you're going through depression, you're going through aggravation, you're going through anger issues. You're going through different things. We got power to bind that. Bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Brother, I'm here to tell you the devil don't like when the church begins talking that way. The church, when they start using its authority, when the church stands up and says, look who I am. I'm a son or daughter of God. I'm a child of the king. The devil starts getting scared. Hey, man, because he knows he's a about to be defeated the devil don't like it when somebody tells you you can be free indeed from the things that play upon your mind. Oh, I'm talking about things that nobody sees when you're all by yourself and all of a sudden you start crying for no reason. That's a spirit playing with you. Your emotions are at the peak. Oh, you're just tore up on the inside. You can walk around with a smile on your face, but there's something on the inside that's ripping at you. I'm telling you, we got power to bind that tonight. Oh, you need to call in. You need to get on the phone lines and say, hey, I'm tired of being in, in this kind of condition. I'm tired of going from bad to worse. I'm tired of it. Hey, Amen. And we can start binding some things. Drug addiction binds you. Oh, alcohol addiction binds you for years now. Right here in our communities, right here in our town. It's been a vast epidemic. People's going from worse to worse. Meth everywhere and on every corner. Drugs, prescription medicine. People's going crazy over this stuff. People's going to jail over this stuff. And we as the church need to rise up and say enough's enough. I'm sick to my stomach of this. And I bind you. I bind you. I bind you all the way to to the gates of hell I bind you and I command you to loose them and let them go loose them and let them go enough's enough how many believe we got that kind of power Boy, I know. Hey, man, you take the old men of God that used to stand up and proclaim God's holy word. They would preach the gospel in its power, in its purity. Thank God and things would happen. Hey, man, the old time ministers, men of God, would stand up. And before they could even get in their message, somebody was being delivered. Somebody was being set free. Hey, thank God. That's what we need to get back to as God's church, seeing miracles performed, seeing lives changed, seeing souls saved, seeing people delivered in Jesus' name. How many knows that's the truth? Hey Amen. How many knows the devil knows who you are tonight? If you truly belong to Jesus Christ, he'll know who you are. The seven sons of Sceva, 
brought it upon theirself to go out and perform some exorcisms. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> they said, we adjure you by Paul whom Jesus preacheth. <laughs> they didn't know him for themselves. <laughs> They didn't know his power. It was not applied unto them. They just knew the name. There's a lot of people knows his name tonight, knows who he is, but they've not tapped into his power. They've not got a hold of what they need to get a hold of. Oh, they can sing 20 or 30 songs. They can go with the emotions of something. They can go with the feel-good feeling. Hey, Amen. But they've not got a hold of the power just yet. Hey, brother, when the power gets a hold of you, Thank God you'll be a changed Christian. Hey Amen. You won't see things the way you used to see things anymore. You won't be up one minute and down the next. You'll be leveled out on the rock saying who I am is greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. <laughs>